What's up guys, I'm Kojak, trying to bring you the latest and greatest DLC and news for Call of Duty Ghosts. And today Activision has actually announced that they are going to be bringing back those micro packs that we saw in Black Ops 2 so much with the camos and extra slot packs. But this time they're doing something a little bit different. They're adding a little bit more to it. You're going to have your normal camo DLCs, which we'll get into in a minute. Uh, you have your extra slots, but something they haven't done before, they're really trying to step up from... I don't know, trying to maybe compensate for the lacking of their game. They're selling, not doing very good. Um, Titan Falls coming up, so they got to bring something new out. They're going to have character packs where the characters that you've played at in, uh, in Ghosts and some of the past Call of Duties, you'll be able to play as them from story mode in online. So you'll have their full gear on. You'll look just like them. So we'll get to those first, and then we'll jump into the camos and uh, everything that goes with that. So, first things first, we got your characters here. Um, all of these are going to be $2, the characters and the camos, all $2, except for the legend pack, which is going to be, you can play as price, and when you do that, you will get all the special price stuff, camo, reticle, background, patch, everything like that. And I'm pretty sure each person kind of has something that goes with them. I could be wrong on that. All they show is that... Uh, price has that but I would be surprised if the other ones didn't as well so you can also play as Elias from Ghost, Hesh, Merrick and Keegan and so you're gonna have four characters you get to pick from actually five sorry because you're gonna have price in there so five different characters you get to pick from buying and playing as and kind of having a good time doing that so then you've got all of your camos and this right now they're just releasing four of them and that is going to be Inferno. Nice little fiery camo. You get all your reticle and background and stuff like that. Uh, you have the rubber ducky camo, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, the one I really like is the kitty cat camo. That one looks pretty funny. That's new and interesting. Usually we're used to seeing just some designs and different colors. Now we're actually getting into pictures and stuff like that and print on there. Um, and then you have your circuit one, which... I love the blue. I might like it more than the kitty cat one. I think the kitty cat one is kind of funny, but I think the circuit one would probably end up overall being my favorite up next to uh, Inferno. So I thought I'd let you guys know about all these here. Again, with the camos, you do get the reticle and background and patch. I mean, you're paying $2, so they have to make you feel like you're getting somewhat of your money's worth other than just using them in a game that for the average player, they don't get any money in return for making videos or just playing the game in general they're not playing competitive so they want to be able I mean all of us we want to be able to use it and get have fun with it and everything like that so hopefully I'll grab some of these and I'll maybe get to show you guys but they're coming out February 18th so five days from now we'll get to see those which it's kind of funny that these are all starting to come out with the release of uh, Titanfall beta and then shortly after the Titanfall game on March 11th so this is a lot of stuff where they're trying to draw people off of Titanfall partly because I think that I've seen Titanfall gameplay I've obviously played the hell out of Call of Duty Ghosts and I'm over Call of Duty Ghosts I was really hyped about it before it came out but now I just can't wait to go and buy my Xbox One next month just so I can buy Titanfall which means I'm going to spend you know $600 or so after everything to play a video game but I've seen some of the Titanfall gameplay. It looks so much better with, than Call of Duty Ghosts, but that's what everybody thinks every year before the game comes out. You know, it's going to be really good. It's going to be really good. The trailer looks good, all the information. And then it just, for example, Call of Duty Ghosts kind of becomes a big flop, and, you know, everybody's waiting for the next big thing. And from what I've heard, I haven't played Battlefield 4, but it seems like that's kind of not been up to expectations as well. But... Yeah, let me know what you guys think about these in the comments. Go ahead and leave this video with a like if you enjoyed. Make sure if you want to know more Call of Duty news, you enjoyed the video as well. Subscribe to my channel. I've got more of this stuff from GTA. I'll have Titanfall right when it comes out. Um, I signed up for the beta key. I'm not sure if I'll get it. If I do get the beta key, I'll buy the Xbox One earlier than I planned on. And I'll put some Titanfall stuff up for you guys, whatever I can figure out hints and tips along the way before... Uh, the game comes out, but I'll talk to you guys later. Remember, I'm Kojak. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.